Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one's called Digital Battleship. It's a lot like regular Battleship, so if you're already familiar with how to do those puzzles, I think you're going to find this one uh, pretty easy to pick up as well. The rules state that you're going to try to find the boats in the grid here, and boats don't touch one another, so you can't have, say, a large ship here and then a, you know, uh, a smaller ship off to the side touching. So uh, that is rule number one. Rule number two is these digits along the outside indicate the sum total of the ship segments in their row or column. So if you have a large boat here, you're going to add those digits together. They're not going to equal 21, so you know there might be some more boats over here. So that's it for the rules. Um, I pulled this puzzle from my recently published book on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. Would love it if you guys would check it out. I had a lot of fun making the puzzles. Hopefully you guys will have a lot of fun solving them. So the first place to do when I'm solving these is looking for the most constrained areas. And of course, that's going to be the very large or very small clues. So zero is the easiest. We know there's no boats there. That's going to be all water. Same thing with this column and same thing with this row. So that is the easiest place to start. Uh, the number one is the next smallest number. So we know all of these digits that are not one or greater, so no ship segments can be on those. Uh, we look at a 5 here, we know there's some digits in that row that are greater. That's going to be water. Uh, same thing with this 4, so 8, 5, 7, 7, 5, that's all water. That's a great start. Uh, the next thing I would look for is, you know, again, looking at the really small numbers, this 9 is interesting because there's an 8 here in the grid. Um, the only way to get to 9 with 8, you need a 1, but there's no 1 in this row. So there's no way this 8 could be a ship segment because there's no way we could add to that 8 to get to 9. So we know that that is water as well. And now we look at this column. We've taken away a lot of the options, and we have a pretty big clue of 12. So if we add all these numbers up, um, we're going we're gonna to have to take one of these numbers away, and I think the only way to get to 12 is if we have the 6, 4, and the 2. The 1 doesn't belong. The 1 is not going to be a ship segment. So in fact, we know all of these are actually ship segments. And now that we know these are ship segments, we know the diagonals from those are going to be water. And the reason for that is we know that ships can't bend, right? And you can't have ships touch one another diagonally. So there's no way that those corner pieces can be part of this ship. So that is a good start. Um, now we look at this four, we're really limited. We can pretty much have a ship here be these two twos or this one four. And if it's these two twos, that's gonna make all of this water. Right, and so hypothetically, let's let's say if that was a boat, and this is water, let's just say for for the math. Uh, I don't know if these numbers will equal 24. We can we can do the math. So a plus eight is 16 plus the six is 22, and then there's no way to get to 24, right? So eight eight is 16 plus the six is 22. You need another two. We have ones and threes. So we're either going to get to 23 or 25. There's no way to make 24 if this is a boat because that makes all of this water. So what that tells me is this can't be a boat. And if that's not the boat, this four must be, right? So these two twos are out. This four is in. And once we have a ship segment, well, let's make it the same color just for any of us who have OCD. Now we know this is a ship segment, the diagonals from those are going to be water. So now we can look at this row and see that we still can't, we can make 24 now. So with the six, we need another 18. Um, so it could be, right, this is seven, 11, plus the 6, 17, yeah, that's not going to work. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus the 6 is 22. No way to make 24 with that. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 18, 
21, 24. So that is the only way to make 24 in that row. And so we know that that is the large ship, that is the small ship. These two cannot be ship segments then. All right, so now we know that this one means that's part of a boat. Right, now that we know that that's a boat, the diagonal is water. And that is a great start. This 15, we have eight, we need seven more. Well, that's a seven, this two doesn't work. So we know the two's out, the seven's in. And now that we know that this is part of a boat, the diagonal here, this four, is out. Right? And now, if we think about this five, there's no way to make five. Well, I, I almost counted this three out, but you could have the three with the two ones. So almost made a mistake there. So seven plus four is 11. We need five more in this row. So this six is out. That's too high of a number. So to get to five, it could be this one five, could be the three and the two, or this three and the two, that three and the two. So, okay, so the six is out. That's all we can conclude in that row. Um, let's see if we look in the columns here. So 18 minus three is 15. We need another 15, which is gonna be all of these fives. The seven is out. There's no way to make the 15 with this seven there would need to be an eight somehow or a way to make eight. So all of these fives are in. And now we know that we've already found the airship carrier, or the largest boat, which is these four here. So we know this cannot be because there's only one of these large ships. So we know all of that is water that surrounds it, just like that. And now, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 4 is 16, so in fact that whole row is actually now water. We know this 3 is out, now we need to make a 5, we can't do it with the 3. So it's either going to be two submarines, the 4 and the 1, or it's going to be just this one 5. But we don't know quite yet uh, how to do that. This 9, we have a 5, so we need 4 more. That takes the six out, and it actually takes the threes out as well because there's no way to make a four with one of the threes. There's no one in this row to do that. So um, now let's look at the 10. We already have three, so we need seven more. Can't make seven with the four and two. So that's out, and the seven's in. So the seven is part of a ship. We now know the diagonals are out. Right, so those are going to be water. Oops, let's make it the same color. And now this nine is solved by making this four a ship. So we found this ship. It can't bend. This five is out. That's going to be water. And I think at this point, we can solve it by just figuring out this 21, right? So we already have nine. We're going to need 12 more could be the two sixes, and it has to be the two sixes because in fact, can't do it with the eight, you would need a four, there's no four. Can't do it with the three, you would need a nine, there's no nine. So those are out of the question. These are in. So we make those ship segments. This five, we know that has to be a ship segment, the one is out. And now if we just track all the boats that we found, we need four submarines. We have too many right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these is going to be a larger boat. We have two, uh, I don't know what you call these, cruisers, uh, the, the boats of size two. So we need one more. Um, so it could be this one. I think it has to be that one. And we have only one three. We need another three. So in fact, both of those are going to be part of it. And so there you have it. You have your big, large airship carrier. Uh, you have your two three-sized boats, your three two-sized boats, and then your one, two, three, four submarines. And if you add the digits that are in those boats, 
they'll give you these sum totals along the outside. And that is Digital Battleship. That is how you play it. Um, lots of fun. I, I do prefer a regular Battleship over this one. I, I mean, this one has some math involved. And I think if you guys have watched a couple of my videos by now, you probably know that the math-based puzzles are not my favorite. Uh, but still enjoyable. Um, again, I do enjoy Battleship uh, logic puzzles. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.